community in Georgia. For the very first time in Georgia history, a Hispanic organization, the Georgia Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, will be the recipient of a $293,000 from congressional direct spending from the federal government. Specifically, this funding was made possible through the support and efforts of Senator Reverend Rafael Warnock's office. The Georgia Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> the Georgia Hispanic Chamber of Commerce will use the funds to provide mentorship, business training, and technical assistance for Hispanic and Latino owned businesses, both in English and Spanish in the great state of Georgia. The Hispanic community has become a critical element and a driving force to our U.S. economy and state. 18.7% of the U.S. population and growing. In Georgia, our Hispanic population grew 1.1 million, 32% increase from 2010, which now makes us a top 10 Hispanic market. We have a strong entrepreneurial spirit and the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs with new companies at 82% are Latino. Women starting businesses at six times faster than national rate. We supported 85% of our businesses last year being Latina and we contribute over $800 billion to the U.S. economy. Our businesses and our community are grateful for the investment that's necessary to secure our future together. This is the needed impact we've needed for our mutual economy. The program will support a couple of key initiatives moving forward. Revolución Digital, which will ensure the digital literacy of our Hispanic businesses that we knew were impacted through the COVID pandemic. The creation of Escalar, our supplier diversity university to ensure that Hispanic businesses surpass the mere 3% over a million dollars in annual revenue. We need to create and chart new strategic pathways for opportunity and success. Escalar will be a key initiative of supplier diversity for that. And of course, Crecer para Mujeres. Again, 85% of those that we supported last year were Latinas. I want to thank today United States Senator Rafael Warnock for his continuous support and dedication to investing in the Hispanic business community in Georgia. Muchísimas gracias. Well, hello, everybody. I'm a Baptist preacher. Hello, everybody. Hello. We talk back in my church. <laughs> Listen, I'm thrilled to be here today with the Georgia Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and uh, Latino business leaders from all across our state. Uh, I enjoyed the conversation we had today. It was a conversation uh, that I found insightful and productive and illustrative of the incredible entrepreneurial spirit of the Hispanic community all across our state. Georgia business leaders are facing a lot of challenges in the changing economy. And I'm, I'll be taking the stories that, that I hear, not just today, but that I've been hearing all across our state, uh, back to Washington, D.C. We're all fighting to deal with the worst impacts of this pandemic, uh, in which we still find ourselves. But since I came to office, I've been working to help small businesses in every corner of the state keep their doors open and to grow their businesses, including businesses in the Latino community. That's why I pressured the Small Business Administration, the SBA, to provide more flexibility for small business owners to repay their COVID-era emergency loans. And in this year's annual government funding, I supported efforts to increase funding for CDFIs, Community Development Financial Institutions, to bring financial resources to every community. And I was proud to push to strengthen federal investments in entrepreneurship grants, small business development centers, women's business, business centers, and community trainings to help businesses apply for loans and to keep their businesses strong. Today I heard from Georgia business owners who have been struggling for resources to help build equity and to develop 
their business skill set. These issues around equity, of course, were with us long before the pandemic, uh, but they were uh, exacerbated and illumined uh, even more by the pandemic. And that's why I am particularly excited to highlight the nearly $300,000 that I secured in direct funding for the Georgia Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I believe in you and in your mission, and I want to make sure that you have the resources uh, that you need in order to do the work that you do with small businesses every day. Uh, this funding will help support Hispanic and Latino-owned businesses in every corner of our state by investing in mentorship opportunities, business training, and technical assistance for Latino-owned businesses, both in Spanish and in English. That's very important. When we empower our small businesses, we empower our local economies. And when we empower our local economies, we empower the American economy. This, this is <clears throat> enlightened self-interest for us to invest and make sure that Hispanic communities, all of our communities, can thrive. Dr. King said it best, we are tied in a single garment of destiny caught up in an inescapable network of mutuality. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. We, we need our best and brightest minds. And all of us, whether we're Hispanic or not, we need the Hispanic community to thrive. <coughs> and so I'll stay focused on that. Uh, I'm going to continue to work in a bipartisan manner to get things done for Georgia's small businesses. As a lead negotiator on the bipartisan job and competition bill, I'm working to strengthen our supply chains uh, to make them more resilient, uh, to boost U.S. manufacturing, and also working to bring even more companies like Hyundai and Q Cells to our state. That will help create new economic opportunities for Georgia workers and entrepreneurs and keep our state's economy moving forward. So, thank you so very much. I'm so grateful. Let me see if I can say it too. Veronica. <laughs> Maldonado Torres. Uh, CEO of, President and CEO of the Georgia Hispanic Chamber. And your chairman, Antonio Molina, for inviting me here today to have this important conversation. I look forward to continuing to work with the Georgia Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and your industry colleagues to ensure that all Georgia small businesses and the business community have the resources they need to succeed. We need you to win. And so I'm for you. Thank you so much.